everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, I left the house. My sister gave me a little text in the morning. It was like around 7.30. She was texting me, saying, since I was going to go out today, maybe I should bring her gray sweater that she forgot here, and it gives me a little more incentive to go out, out. So I um, brought her her sweater, had coffee with her, and... It was drizzly when I left, and it was drizzly most of the day, but you know the sun came out, and it actually was warm enough for me to take Mr. Brown outside, so I took him outside for a while, and when I was in the computer room, I look across to see, because a lot of times he's by the fence, and I can see him. I thought, where did he go? He's not out there. So I went to look and see if he went over by the trailer. He didn't go over by the trailer. So I looked a little more, and then I looked, and there he is, inside the fence. None of the other hens were around, or the rooster wasn't around, but he was inside the fence. So I walk in the fence, and I picked him up and brought him back out. And when he came back outside the fence, that's when the others came closer, and they were um, checking him out, and he was checking out them, too. And one of the little black, I am Samanis, or however you say that. I don't know, it's one of the black. Something like that. Black hens that is every all black except for two toes. She was out and she went in my garden, so she must be the one pecking the peppers. Not mm -hmm. Mr. Brown hasn't pecked any peppers, but she did. She went into the garden and then she decided to come out of the garden and was back over the fence and back inside with the rest of them. Well, I wanted to show you. I the people that I watch crocheting, they always say that they've got whips. It's work in progress, I think. Mm. Or they finished their whips. Their work in progress. I don't know. And if they rip something out, they say they frogged it. These are terms that I never heard of until just recently. I'm learning these things. But anyway, whoops. There goes my knitting needle. I brought my knitting needles in to show you what size I used for the... I finished two of my... Um, scarves. I finished, I'll put the knitting needles down, whoa, there it goes again. <laughs> it just wants to be on the it's floor. It's on the floor. This is the knitted one, and it's, oh, they're really, it's so, so soft. It's beautiful. There's the knitted. And this is the hag stitch. So they're, they're different, but they're done out of the same, same material as, um, or same yarn, I mean. But I asked Paige, I says, which one do you like better? And she liked the one that was knitted better than the hag stitch. The hag stitch is soft, but it's a, it's, you, you feels like, you know, I don't know if you've noticed the difference between knit and crochet. And they have a, they do have a different feel, but this, this hag stitch is really very pretty. It's a, it's a pretty, it's mm -hmm. pretty. And this one's pretty too. They're both pretty. I think. Mm -hmm. Anyways, and so, and I use size 10. Here you have those. Thank you. I use size 10, no, size 13. Sorry, size 13 knitting needle, which is a pretty good size knitting needle for the scarves. When I did the, the um, eyelash scarves, I used a 10. I think they called for a 10. And I used Red Heart yarn. They, they, a lot of them like to know what kind of yarn you used. I used the Red Heart Super Saver Jumbo Strips. This is this was um, the color was Favorite Stripe, and it's a four ply or four weight weight they call it. <laughs> we said four ply, and you know when I used to buy yarn, we used to have to look at the number. The there's a number under here because we wanted to know the dye lot. And so that would be the dye lot number. Um, or no, maybe that was over here. This lot, lot number. The lot number. We used to have to look to see, make sure that we got, because when we were making afghans that are that take like six or eight skeins, and you wanted to make sure you got the same dye lot, because the color could be just a tiny bit off, even though the name says the same, could be off. You can have that. You can have my, my knitting needle the other one's on the floor. 
And while I was at the store today, I pick up socks. Where did I put those scissors? I put the scissors somewhere. Well, anyways, these are the socks I pick up. And the reason I pick up socks is they're for me. These are men's socks. But where's the scissors? I put scissors in here. Did they fall out? They might have fallen, must have fallen oh, out. Oh, that's so sad. Wait a minute, no, it's got to be in here. Here they, no? Yeah, here they are. <laughs> I found them! And the reason I brought the scissors in is I, I have to snip the little white thing that's holding the, scissors, holding the sock so I can show you a sock. I'll put that little thing there because I don't want it on the floor. We'll be stepping on it and thinking, ouch, what's that? Oh, I can't get that one. Why not? You have to pull it through the other oh, direction. Go the other way. I'll flip it over. This is this is crazy. You know, when you're trying to undo things, they don't want you to steal it. I'm not going to steal a pair of socks. But they don't want you to steal them, so they, they really connect them in there really good so that nobody can take them out. Here, we'll cut the paper. These are... Oh, I hope I don't get the sock. These are um, Fruit of the Loom socks. There. This one's, look at that. They connected it to the paper. No wonder I can't get it off. Oop, there it went flying. Oops, a daisy. But anyways, I buy, there's another piece on this side. Oh, man, alive. Okay. I buy tube socks. So, for those of you that like your so your legs nice and warm, I buy men's tube socks. They come all the way to my knee, but you don't have to worry about how big your foot is because a tube sock is a tube sock. <laughs> it's just a tube. So that's what I, I buy. And I don't know if you remember how I fold socks. I just take them and fold them in half. And these are really long. These are going to be really great. And then I tuck it in. And I fold my sock. So this way when I get my pair of sock, I've got a whole sock. Uh, one pair. I don't have to worry about whether they match or not because they're already together. And I love to match socks. I think that's everything for today. I um, showed you my knitting and I showed my socks. And, and if anybody notices anything different, leave it in the comment. Yeah, leave it in the comment if you notice something different. And I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.